In an exclusive interview with EWTN, the former prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments, Cardinal Robert Seurat presents his recently published book, In Catechism for the Spiritual Life. The Cardinal reflects on the sacraments as the pillars of Catholic spirituality. He highlights the Eucharist and the liturgy surrounding it as the greatest gift left to us by Jesus. Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Thonhauser asked him how the Church could better explain this to modern society. We need to, res to rediscover this as the principal means of grace that Jesus established in his church. We need to understand the sacrament. They are not social affairs. Baptism, for example, could not be delayed to wait for a familiar, family, fam family re uh, meeting. But parents must haste to baptize the children because the baptism is really the gate to the spiritual life, to a gate to enter in the church. Each of the seven sacraments are a gift of the church to illuminate how God intervene in our lives for the sake of our salvation. You write about the loss of faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Why do you see this as a cause for a decline in the Christian communities? How could we revive this faith? I know that without faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, the Church becomes a wholly horizontal phenomena. The Church loses the meaning of her existence. The Church is not a social organization to meet problem of migration or poverty. The church is a divine purpose to save the world. If Christ does not dwell within her church tangibly, visibly, sacramentally, then what good news do we have to offer to the world? What is the meaning of evangelization? When Christians forget why they are Christian, the community must fall to de into decline. Maybe for the last question, could you also tell us a little bit how this sacrament, how the Eucharist is challenged today? in the West, and also uh, maybe more particularly even in, in, in the church itself. It is great to be baptized because we enter in the life of God. We, we become children and of God. It is great to be a priest because a priest and even a Christian is not only an altar Christus, but he is ipse Christus, is Christ himself. So we have to be very proud to be, a Christ, to be, to be priests and to live the priesthood with sacredness. It is beautiful to be confirmed to be soldier of Christ, to fight for Christ. It's an honor. It is great to be married. The marriage is a very great sacrament. It is the mystery that celebrates the union with Christ and his church. So if every Christian could, li could live properly his marriage, 
it is a great sacrament because we concretize the links between the church and Christ. And this link is perpetual. So uh, what I try to explain in this book is really to discover again and again these great gifts we have received from Jesus Christ before leaving our world to make us capable to live the life of God. That I was like to, uh, was uh, would like to, to aid, uh, and I thank you for making known my, not my ideas, but the idea of the church, because I didn't invent anything. I just transmit the teaching of the church. So thank you for, for make, making known my, my book. I pray for all the, who is reading this book, and that he make discover the richness of the sacraments. Thank you so much for taking the time and writing this book. Thank you indeed. Thank you.